Here again with the Narcissus Escape Shuttle, seen in Alien and Aliens. This particular piece is a direct descendant from the filming miniature made for Aliens. Take particular note of this recessed detail here. On the Alien filming model, this is risen off the surface. That's the purpose of this video, is to show you my behind the scenes um, workflow to get this accurized. But if you look closely here, this is recessed detail on both sides. You'll see exactly that in the shot from Aliens. And also there's a little chip detail that's here that you could see. The crew that was making this for Aliens included an 8-rad piece here where there's not an 8-rad part there for the Alien filming miniature. During this restoration, I'm not completely accurizing this model. I'm leaving a lot of its heritage to its original of being a filming miniature for Aliens, but I am making some improvements here and there to make it more similar to the filming miniature from Alien. I'm doing something a little different for this channel, showing you my workflow. So for this particular piece, I'm gonna take you from a profile sketch all the way through my CAD design to FDM printing prototypes, to finally making micro adjustments to a final resin 3D printed part ready for molding. This is a fairly straightforward part that I can design very quickly in Tinkercad using blocks, cylinders, and half domes. For a few of the shapes, I first drew 2D vectors, which I imported as SVG data and extruded. I'll let you watch the rest. Typically, before I commit any new models to a resin print, I will print it out in FDM first, just so I can see the proportions, I can make any adjustments, and a print like this only costs a few cents compared to a resin print, which takes longer and is more expensive. Okay, this print just finished up, and I do this also because there's probably another couple more renditions I need to do. Maybe not for this one though, the detail's looking good. But I can see maybe I might want to raise up these cylinders a little bit. Um, this rod, maybe decrease the diameter of that rod, definitely decrease the diameter of this rod. 
but there is version one of this top detail piece. All right, so version two, I'm going to widen this up. I can see that this needs to be a little bit wider. This box needs to, whoops, I need to ungroup that and only move this pink box in. I'm going to just bring it right up there. Then I'm going to take this box and make up that difference. And looking at this piece, gosh, you know, I think it's pretty darn good. I think I'm going to raise... I'm going to raise this detail and this detail up just a bit, just to pronounce it a little bit more. And then this assembly, let me see where I'm at. Okay, this is this. So I'm going to make this, I think, just a little bit larger. Yoink. And then I'm going to exaggerate its height just a little bit. And then offs uh, offset that by a tad. And... I think that's it. I mean, everything else is looking great on this. So I'm going to go ahead and group this and save it out. Print version 2. Okay, here I am in Chaidu Box Pro. I decided to print this on the Elegu Jupiter. Okay, so here's how this fits. So we're going to mirror this. We're printing, we're printing two of these. And here's how I like to orient my models. I like to give them a little bit of lift. About like that. We're going to go into the support setting. And we have light settings, Z lift of 5. That looks fine to me. We'll go back into prepare. We're going to copy this once and we are going to mirror this on Y. So now we have two little print. And I think we're good. We're going to go ahead and slice this and throw it onto the Jupiter. for our print and here we are let's check this out looking good man nice and straight looking perfect details are amazing let's watch these prints here's the final resin printed pieces. These are the final finals. It's funny when you're designing this it seems like you're building whole cities like just all this amazing detail in these big areas but in reality it's just these tiny little parts you know like it's like how big this is those little rods that I spent time building and the little holes I mean that's how big this piece is but that's the funny thing about CAD design in 3D printing, it's like you get what you design, but it doesn't always feel the same when you're holding it in your hand. I'm really happy to bring you this workflow. If you guys enjoy watching the build process in CAD, let me know in the comments. I might go ahead and make some tutorial videos that are CAD specific, designing in Fusion 360 and Tinkercad. I can also show you my tips and tricks of importing SVG vectors from Corel or Inkscape into your project to save you a lot of time building base shapes. And that's it for a look at my workflow from sketch to CAD design to 3D part ready to apply on a model. If you're enjoying this content, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section of this video. As always, feel free to share with your friends, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.